What is up, guys? Chris Schroeder here with Reselling Electronics for Profit and Resellerator. Guys, today I want to go over the core four when it comes to flipping electronics or really any uh, reselling business that you might have. Um, so this video is going to be super, super valuable. And if you stay till the end, uh, I'm going to give you my automated sourcing method, which is Facebook ads. Uh, and then a couple of other ways too, but that what this video is going to be over on this one of these sides um, And it's going to help you learn how to start your own Facebook ads. So with that being said, let's get into the core four of reselling electronics and stuff So what is the core four and how did I come up with it? Well funny enough It was actually this morning I was talking with my head coach Matt and I was like, what are the four things that can guarantee success in somebody's business. What are those four things? So I started writing them out and we were talking back and forth and I finally came up with it. The four things that are basically guaranteed in order to help you scale your business or grow your business, whatever you're looking to do. Um, so, okay, so let's just jump right into it. So core four. So number one here, guys, this is pillar number one. This right here is a little cylinder type thing, but it's a it's a pillar. I'm calling these my four pillars. Okay. Core four pillars. All right. All right. Reach outs guys. I've been wrong about reach outs the whole time. Okay. So, um, and here's why I just simply had a distortion of reality. All right. Um, for a long time, I just used my marketing hammer and I made shit work. Like that's what I did. Um, I would close leads through marketing, paid ads, you name it. Um, and I was like, I don't need reach outs. I don't need to go anywhere until um, a person named Alex Ramosi told me, or not, he didn't tell me directly, but I was listening to his new book, $100 million leads. That's a plug, by the way, great book. Um, he said that 50% of his entire business came from outbound, cold outreach, reaching out on marketplace, offer up Craigslist places like that. He wasn't doing that, but that's specifically for our business, reaching out on platforms like Marketplace and OfferUp and Craigslist and places like that. I have recently <clears throat> taken a little bit more effort, created a system specifically for me and my students to do this. Um, and surprisingly, not surprisingly now, because my mind is no longer distorted, um, I'm making money from it. And I'm making good money from it. And the great thing is, is I get to cherry pick my deals um, and get to use a script that I like that actually closes deals I'm actually working right now. I had about a 16% closing average on every, uh, on the amount of people that I reach out to, which is pretty insane. Um, so pretty good and couple it with paid ads, it's even better. So reach outs is pillar number one. And what types of devices do we reach out on? Number one that you're going to get the highest ROI on is game consoles and uh, VR sets. So VR sets, game consoles, and items like that, you're going to get the highest return um, with the littlest amount of time put in because those are also very easy to negotiate. So that's pillar number one, reach outs, okay? So if you have very little money and you can't spend any money on ads, reach out to people on Marketplace, okay? For a long time, I did not do this. I did not promote it because I just figured paid ads are the easier way. And they are for me because it's less work for me. However, the work and the reach outs is still profitable. Okay. So reach outs. Number two is ads running, running paid ads, Facebook ads, Google ads, Instagram ads. Uh, this is pillar number two. This is like the second place where you want to be when you're getting stuff up and running. Now, what types of devices can we run ads to buy? We're going to run ads to buy phones, Samsungs, MacBooks, iPads, smartwatches, cameras, VR sets, game consoles, you name it. It doesn't matter. If you wanted to, you could do it for sneakers, shoes, and you know other items like that. It still works. It works for houses too. So paid ads are an instrumental way that I built my business. For a long time, it's all I did, and I got really damn good at it. So Paid ads is pillar number two. Now you have to have all four of these pillars to have a very strong foundation. You can have a pretty good foundation with just reach outs and ads running every single day. Okay, I personally run my ads at about $30 a day because I can make more than $30 a day almost every single day off of my ads. Okay, if I buy one device, I make my money back plus some, right? Because my, my average per item is about $100 profit. So... 
The next thing here is diversification. So, um, looks like I spelled that incorrectly, but it is what it is. So diversifying what you buy is one of the strongest strategies that we have implemented inside of Recelerator. Uh, being able to buy MacBooks, iPads, smartwatches, cameras, VR sets, game consoles, cameras, all of these different items, and then phones, obviously. Um, being able to buy all of these different types of devices allows us to create more profit. Most of the items that we buy, for example, the other day I bought a Valve Index, which funny enough, I actually still have it here. Um, it's already packed up, so it's like ready to go, but you can see these are the base stations for it. Uh, these base stations uh, are going to sell for about $240, $250. Um, I know you can't see what they are, but... And then I actually have the headset here too. Ugh. So the headset is actually in here. You can see it right there. It's already ready to, ready to ship. So the Valve Index comes with five different items, um, and I'm going to make over $500 in profit off of that one flip. It's pretty difficult to do that on a phone. So this is why diversification is important. How you learn how to flip other items is important. And get this, it sets you apart in the marketplace, big time. So all of those guys out there that are only flipping iPhones and brand new iPhones that they're making their $30, $40 profits on, you will be able to come in and buy the stuff that they don't even know exists. Guys, this is what I do with Valve Indexes all the time. Nobody knows they exist. They don't even know what they are. And I just swoop in, make my three or $400 in profit in secret. They don't even know what I'm doing because it's a reach out most of the time. And I make money, lots of money, okay? So don't think that I, you know, my entire business is built off of phones because it's not. It's only about, uh, looking at my numbers, it's about 15, 20% of my entire business is built off of phones. Wild, right? Pillar number four, Google My Business and SEO. All right, so what does this mean? So um, Google My Business, basically what that means is somebody will call my phone and I'll get I'll answer it and they'll say, you have a new lead. So that's either Google Ads or Google My Business. Now, the great thing with Google My Business, if you don't know what that is, uh, I, I encourage you to type in uh, Google My Business on your phone and you'll figure it out pretty quickly. Um, but basically, like all restaurants have a Google My Business and that's basically where you can go see their reviews and things like this. Uh, if you can get a Google My Business in your area, um, that's important because as, uh, as soon as you pass up Eco ATM on the Google My Business uh, search, you start making a lot more money. I get three to four calls a day right now, sometimes more, uh, just from Google My Business, and those are free leads. Free. And guess what? They are Their intention for calling is to sell right there and now. They're ready for the money now. So I'm able to just shout off an offer and get, you know, most of the time by the device, uh, even if it's a low ball, because they need the money. They're, they're literally going to Google and typing in, sell my phone near me. And they find me, they call me, or they message me, whatever, and I, I buy their phone. Or I buy whatever device they want to, because I buy more than just phones, right? So, and once you have that running, the game is over for anybody else in your area, just so you guys know. <laughs> um, once you're number one on Google My Business, uh, it's it's hard to for anybody in your area, competitor-wise, uh, to topple you. So, um, drop my phone here. So this is the core four, guys. These are my four pillars for growing a successful uh, scaling, scaling, reselling business. Uh, these are the four things you need to really scale your business. So if you don't have these, I highly recommend, you know, check out Resellerator below. So there's a link. Um, if you want my help and my team's help buying more items than just phones, or you're looking to get on Google, or you're looking to get on Facebook ads, or you're looking to pick up your reach out game where it's actually profitable. We do all of that. We teach you all of those strategies in a very sophisticated way and in a very like tight knit way to help you scale your business. So um, have a great day. Keep crushing it, guys. And I hope you guys enjoy this video. Please make sure to like the video. Um, it really boosts me up in the YouTube algorithm. And if you like my stuff, uh, please subscribe because I try to put out videos every couple of days. 
Uh, usually they aren't this long, but I thought this one was kind of important. So uh, keep crushing, guys, and uh, see you guys later.